New Year's Day isn't as far away as you think, especially now that the Torrance Rosefield Association is in high gear getting ready for the big day. The Porter Faith Lee got a glimpse of the 2014 float as it was taken out for an official test drive. It's Saturday morning, and while most are still in bed, a group of technical inspectors are taking notes before a special kind of test drive. Everybody Place is the name of this year's rose float, representing Torrance at the Tournament of Roses Parade. Although the float is still in its early stage of construction, it's an incredible experience to be a part of. It's an experience I wish everybody could have. It's so exciting to be right at the ground level of when it's the activity starts to uh, get going. The test drive happens in the city of Irwindale. They take the float out for about a mile so that technical inspectors can ensure the float is safe for the parade. They'll oversee the uh, overall test drive, making sure the floats are able to turn left, right, they stop uh, safely. This year, the American Youth Soccer Organization, or AYSO, is sponsoring the float with a generous donation of $150,000, allowing the Torrance Rose Float Association to once again participate in this New Year's Day tradition. The AYSO organization, they've really helped us out a lot, um, helping us uh, raise money to be able to have the float. Currently, there are only a few plastic flowers and a metal frame holding the float together. But eventually, there will be 10,000 pounds of decorations, including flowers and seats, covering the soccer and sports-themed float. During a parade, you see a lot of things on the float. Riders, animations, decorations. But where's the driver? He's actually right here in this corner driving blindfolded. Well, not literally, but the driver can't see anything in front of him. He steers the float with his ears instead of his eyes. I have a closed headset to an observer that he tells me when to stop, start, go left, go right, because I can't see the tires or the street from where I'm sitting. And for those wanting to take part in this historic tradition, volunteers are always welcome to come and help decorate the float. Oh, you're, you're always excited. I mean, it's, it's great to sit there and go, oh, I did that, I decorated there, you know, that's what I did. And so um, you really feel a belonging on the float that, you know, that's, it, it's, it's a part of you. And, um, you know, it's that pride that you have in Torrance. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Faith Lee. Thanks, Faith. There are many volunteer opportunities available for the public. You can learn more by attending their upcoming meetings on Thursday, October 17th. For more information, go to TorranceRoseFloat.com. It was a bittersweet day for one long